And let's keep this party going for another very funny guy. Come on stage, Mr. David Brandler. David Brandler. Thank you kindly. All right. All you trolls in the audience, show of hands, who bought their Charlie Sheen tickets for Radio City for the Torpedo of Truth Tour. All you winners. Uh, I'm really sorry I can't join you guys. That is a Friday night. And that is Shabbos, and I will be at my synagogue with Mel Gibson. Okay. Mel and I are sorry that we can't join you that night, uh, but uh, we do have a favor to ask. Would you please pick us up a couple of souvenirs? I would like the shirt that says, be nice to me. I gave tiger blood today. <laughs> and Mel, he would like the shirt that says, sugar tits. <laughs> Much appreciated from, uh, from both of us. Now, I believe Charlie added a second show, Sunday, April 10th. And I actually think that I could go, no, nope, no, nope, I can't go to that one either, sorry. Uh, I'm going to another show that night. Uh, it's a one-man show, it's getting great reviews. It's a David Hasselhoff one-man show, and it's called A Man and His Cheeseburger. <laughs> Get your tickets now. Now, Charlie Sheen has been very, very busy lately, as we all know. In between all his interviews, he actually found time to do a spread for Playgirl. Uh, next month, it will be a two-page spread of Charlie completely in the buff with his third goddess, Jimmy Kimmel. <laughs> so uh, reserve your copies now. Now, folks, I got to be honest with you. I'm a little nervous about going to a synagogue with Mel Gibson, okay? I really hope he keeps it together. He is going to be called up in front of the Torah, or I should say in front of the congregation, and do a reading from the Torah. And I really, uh, I'm really nervous. You know, I hope he uh, doesn't have some kind of YouTube moment. You know, something like, uh, the Jews are responsible for the, all the wars in the world. So I, I promise I will keep an eye on him. Fingers crossed. I promise, okay? Now, uh, it was funny, there's a show upstairs, and I noticed a lot of young girls were in that show, and I went over to one girl, and I said to her, how old are you? She said, 16. I said, 16, how the hell did you get in the club tonight? She said, I'm Lawrence Taylor's date for the evening. <laughs> yeah, a great way to start your uh, probation, LT, sure, yeah. Ah, so uh, baseball season is starting this week, uh, this week's opening day. Any Met fans in the audience, huh? Huh? Yeah. Table 82? Table, escort them out, please. Thank you. Thank you. Now, uh, Mets manager uh, Terry Collins, if any of you know who the hell he is, uh, he, uh, he said today that he wants his team to get back to the fundamentals of baseball, speaking English. <laughs> And uh, he added, he said, I believe my team is good enough to win the World Series in about two to three years, right around the time Spider-Man officially opens on Broadway. <laughs> <laughs> now, I found out something the other day I had no idea. Uh, it actually is a fact. Uh, they say that uh, poor health reduces masturbation, but only for women, not for men. Men will masturbate regardless of their health. Well, pfft. Yeah, I mean, no one knew that? I mean, my motto is jerk till you drop. And uh, I don't know if any of you remember this. Uh, speaking of uh, Moses, Charlton Heston, you remember? Uh, the late Chuck Heston uh, did that famous NRA speech uh, a few years ago. You may remember that famous uh, cry from my cold, dead hands. And did you know this week they found out he wasn't talking about a rifle? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I'm about to tell you something that may be a little freaky, but uh, I, uh, yes me, am an 80-year-old man trapped inside a 40-year-old man's body. Uh, it's true. Uh, I don't know if any of you saw the movie uh, The Curious Case of Benjamin Button. In that movie, you may remember, Brad Pitt is uh, born old and uh, ages younger. Uh, I was born old and I stayed old. <laughs> Uh, it's really pathetic. You should see me in the drugstore. As soon as I open the door, they all yell, Dave! And uh, there's a stool waiting for me, and it's not beer on the counter, but it's all my medications, all my medications, yeah. Now, you should actually be honored that I'm here tonight. Usually on Sunday nights, uh, that's my Golden Girls night. I'm up to uh, season two. 
so this is weird to be here, right at the bar, uh, a woman actually just came up to me right before I went on stage and started smelling me. I got very, very nervous. She said, what's that scent you have on? I said, Bengay. <laughs> but you want to know how you know you're an 80-year-old trapped in a 40-year-old body? This is how. That, ladies and gentlemen, that's an 80-year-old chicken neck. So tell all your friends, I am available for kids' parties, bar mitzvahs, and sweet 16s. Enjoy the rest of the show. Thank you.